welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation today we are going to learn about the finite automata i am your instructor poonam patel let's start to understand this concept finite automata now in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the first introduction about finite automata the next is automata model the third one is formal definition of finite automata and the last one is understand this concept by using the example now start with the introduction what is finite automata why we can use finite automata so we can say that finite automata usually used to recognize the pattern okay so what it contain so this finite automata we can say that it is a one kind of machine which take as a input the string of symbol and it changes the uh, it read the string one by one string uh, it read the symbol of string one by one and according to the uh, according to that it changes a state if at the end of string if it reach the accepting state or we can say that if uh, the pattern is appear in this given string is found so we can say that the string is accepted by the language and if the set of uh, transition valid uh, set of transition occur we can uh, use this we can uh, perform the transition so what transition occurs at the time of transition the automata transition means what the transition means that automata can move from a one state to next state or uh, it may be it re it may be stay in the same state okay so this is called the we can say that the finite automata is used to recognize the pattern if the pattern is particular find the set of string it means that this uh, string is accepted by the finite automata now let us understand the form what is what finite automata contain so this finite automata is general, generally represented by two things the control finite control which contain the set of string a uh, set of a uh, set of states okay so this finite control moves from one state to another state or maybe uh, stay in the same state by reading the input symbol it start to reading the input symbol from left to right okay so input tag and the finite control what is input tag so we can say that input tag is uh, divided into number of cells where each cell is containing one letter one symbol okay so this finite control is move from left to right read the symbol at a time and move the straight according to that okay so we can say that the finite model a uh, model uh, finite uh, model finite automata model contain two components the input tag which contain input string and the finite control which containing set of state which uh, this machine which containing the set of state and the state is changed uh, state is changed according to that input okay that we we uh, we see in the next slide okay now what is the formal definition of so this is important point okay so how we can define this finite automata what is the formal so generally a finite automata is defined by the five tuples q sigma delta q0 finite automata or oh, sorry f capital f which is called the final state now what this tuple means so q it means that it define the set which containing the states q q is representing the set of state which is finite so finite set of state sigma we have already know it containing the input symbols so string is containing what kind of symbol it represented by sigma okay next is initial state q0 so the state where we are start uh we are start to press the input symbol and move to the another state or it may be same state so we can say that q0 it include the initial state okay 
so it is always belongs to capital q now next is f what is f so f is indicating the final set of final state so is always the subset of q always remember initial state is always single but the final state may containing one or more state okay so f is a subset of q now next this is main important thing delta delta indicating transition function this function is defined the transitions moving from one state to another state or uh, staying at the same state okay it is called as a mapping state so how we can change the state how we can determine the next state which is defined as delta so now next step okay now take the example of finite automata so you can understand how we can define the atom automata so here i have taken one example i have drawn the one fa for the string which containing zero as a substring over the alphabet 0 comma 1 okay so how we can uh, uh, how we can draw the finite automata for the given uh, string that we can we, uh, we will discuss in the next video but right now we have to understand what this tuple containing for this example okay what is transition table what is the meaning of tracing the string that we, we that we can understand in this in this video okay so here i have uh, draw the one diagram which is called as a straight transition diagram which represents the uh, string which containing zero as a substring so this finite automata accept only those strings which containing substring so what is the then what is the meaning of accepting so accepting meaning that if i trace the string from left to uh, left to right and when i reach at the end and if i uh, at the end and if i stay in a final state it means that string is accepted okay now what is final state what is initial state how we can define it so you can see the state is defined by the circle you can see over circle a uh, circle a indicating a circle b so a b so there are two state this finite automata containing so here we uh, here i have defined this phi tuples so what is q set of states so in this example there are two state a comma b so always remember state is defined by the circle and this arrow is indicating transition from one state to another state and self loop indicating uh, staying at the same state this is self loop okay and uh, and uh, all, uh, what is sigma sigma indicating alphabet now where we have defined the alphabet uh, input alphabet so you can see arrow is uh, containing the symbol 0 or 1 here you can see a self loop 1 a to b containing symbol 0 Uh, self loop uh, b containing self loop 0 comma 1 so this 0 comma 1 is called as a input at what input we can take and change the state so sigma is 0 comma 1 q0 now what is our initial state so you can see a state a okay state a containing a incoming arrow which is not coming from any state okay so this state is called as the initial state so for this finite automata what is our initial state is a okay now what is final state so the uh, the state which is defined by the double circle is called as a final state so in our example the final state is b so f is containing b like this now the next point now this is the five tuples that i defined okay now i want to define the transition function which define and what symbol i can move from one state to another state so this is called the transition table okay so here you can see this transition table how we can define it so you can see this is the transition table that i have draw i have construct for the given finite automata so this uh, table containing so we can say that this table okay containing current state and next state current state the state at which right now at okay and the state on reading the input on what state we are going to move from current state to next state okay this moves is depend on the input symbol 0 1 okay so here you can see this finite automata containing two input symbol 0 1 so i have mentioned the next state on based on zero input and one input now current state so there are two possibility 
for the current state either a or b now if you see before a i have uh, draw the arrow so this symbol indicating uh, for in this transition table this uh, this state is final state and i have mentioned star b so star indicating this is the final state for this given diagram okay in this way we can define the of uh, initial state final state okay now if you see the row of a so a reading a, here i have mentioned okay i have mentioned 0 1 now a 0 it moves b now for this transition we have to say the finite automata so a in a state is a current state is a on reading the input 0 where i can move b okay where i can move b so here i have mentioned a 0 which state so next state it means that we have to mention in this table the state on which state i have moved b okay a on 1 so a on reading input symbol 1 from which state we are uh, which state we can move 1 a self loop it means that it stay in same state okay so i have mentioned 0 on the one column one this one input column is indicating moving on input moving from one state to another state on reading input symbol zero, 1 and moving on current state to next state on reading input 0 so this is zero column like this so in this transition table we have to mention the state on which state we are going to move because this is a transition diagram so we have to mention the transition okay so a on 0 so see the diagram a on 0 which state it moves so arrow indicating this arrow so arrow heading indicating the state which we are going to move so b state a to b so a on 0 so 0 column which state it moves b so we have to write down b so now next input is 1 so a on 1 which state it moves a same same state it moves so it may so it means that we have to write down the same state okay so this is the a this is this row indicating the state transition for the a so this is the transition for the state a. now moving on the next row so next row is fill up for the which state b so we have to focus outgoing arrows for the b state so b on 0 where it moves it may stay in same state so b b on 1 from where it moves it stay in the same state so b so this is called the transition table for the given finite automata and this transition table containing two main parts the current state and next state and next state is moving on the input symbol. So how many columns? So number of columns the next state containing depending upon the input symbol. If two input, input symbol two columns are there. If three input symbol three columns. So for first input symbol next and third input symbol likewise. Now next is what is tracing the string okay so suppose i want to check whether the given string 101 is accepted by this finite automata or not as we already uh, already uh, see that this fa i have drawn for the containing zero substring so as we know 101 is a valid string because it containing zero as a substring so it means that this string is accepted by this finite automata how we can check it whether this string is accepted by or not so for this we can use the transition function delta so how we can define delta star in a bracket the first is the initial state and the comma after this comma we have mentioned the set of string that we have to trace it so we have to write down the whole string one zero now take one by one left to right read the symbol of input string like this so like this so delta star means extended transition function okay delta star it means that transition function is applied one or more uh, transition function is applied more than one time where we have to mention delta star it is known as extended transition function okay so here i have mentioned delta delta star a10 okay so i have differentiated one by one letter like this delta delta three deltas because three letters here so first of all we have to pick up we have to find out the transition for the left most symbol left most symbol one okay a comma one what state we we are going to move use the transition table or use the transition diagram okay a on reading one 
on which state delta means it define the transitions okay on which state we are going to move so a comma 1 it moves the same state so what it indicating a comma 0 now a comma 0 what state it moves b so likewise b comma 1 that one by one we have to remove the transitions okay likewise by writing down the transition and by writing down the next state for the given transition b comma 1 so here you can see first of all from the left i have read 1 and after the moving i have read 0 and at the end 1 like this so b comma 1 so b state current state is b input is 1 now which state we are going to move so check the state transition diagram b on 1 it is containing self flow it same sense now the input is complete input is at the end of string now check what state is occur which is uh, double circle it means it is a final state so it is if at the end of pressing the string if i reach the state which is a final state we can say that the string is accepted by the fine uh, accepted by this finite automata and it okay so if the uh, last state if at the end of string if the state is not accepting state, not accepting state it means that the given string is not accepted by this f so i hope this concept is clear to you thank you all